Hey guys, hey, it's Harry here. Let me know how you like the new setup. I now have a ring light. It's brighter on my face, guys. And I have a couple new products that I want to swatch for me anyway. So I want to swatch and show you guys. I did wear, I got the ColourPop eyeliners, cream gel liners. I got teaspoon right here and then it is a blue green which we're gonna use this right here today and then I got the pink one in boots which I used the other day for work and I'm gonna get ready for work I always like getting all around slowly so we're gonna use this eyeliner I think I don't know. Let's just swatch it. I might use the pink again. This is this eyeliner. This blue right here. I call it blue anyways. And then the pink one I wore the other day made me look like I have ooh, it breaks really, really easy. Made me look like I have a pink eye. But there it is. That is one downfall I've noticed about these eyeliners is they break really, really easy. And for $6 a pop, I don't want these motherfuckers breaking very easily. <coughs> Excuse me. It's got a sore throat because I'm eating. Jesus. it. Not a sore throat, guys. Sorry. Not, not a sore throat. A dry throat. Well, I wore this other one, this pink one out here for work the other day. I wanted to wear the blue one. I call it blue, but I only brought in, and I don't want to go get no more, my pink passion, pure passion, pink from Milani. So I think we're going to stick with pink today again. So I'm going to line my lids, and I'm going to use my camera to line my lids on my phone that I'm recording with. I think I know that dude. are lined as you guys can tell it kind of gives me like a pink eye but it's also a hot pink color look at my nails by the way guys red white and blue for my one of my two favorite holidays the other favorite holiday is Memorial Day but look at this pink color beautiful okay so then I got something else new in the mail by NYX I got professional makeup eye primer I got mine in this shade, Skin Tone. It's not going to focus, but I've never used this right here. As you can tell, the plastic still is still on it. Ooh. So we're going to take that off. I'm going to use my finger. I'm going to put some on my eyes. Ooh, it's creamy. I don't know what I expected. But, uh, creamy was not it. I've never used a primer or an eye base on my eyes. Eyelids. Never used something like this on them. 
ever. So I kind of like some days I go without any, I just do eyeliner, a mascara if I'm in a hurry going to work. And I just kind of wanted to do this right here. I'm like, I don't like when I do the eyeliner and primer or the eyeliner and mascara where my eyes, like you can see through my eyelid because of the veins and stuff. I just don't, just don't like it. So I was like, well, maybe I can get this and then I can just wear this eyeliner and mascara and be done. Well, okay guys, we're not going to use the blue one. That'll be in another video. We're going to use my two brushes by Bisto, which I got from uh, off of Amazon. And we're going to do a pink look. First, we're going to take the big fluffier one, and we're going to go into this shade right here and cover up the base. Because why not? Okay. I'm liking the base. As you guys can tell, my face is like red and blotchy in places because I've been out getting some sun today. Please spare me the details about how sun is bad for you and bad for your skin and stuff like that. We all have our downfalls and our faults and things we don't we do that aren't good for us. Some people smoke, some people drink, some people do this or that. I have a lot of downfalls, but one of them is I do like to sunbathe. Um I'm trying to think. I think I'm gonna go into this color right here, which I've never used in my crease. showing up quite like I wanted to. Let me see if I get some more of my brush. I mean, you guys can see it, yeah, but not like I wanted it to be. I think I'm going to go into this flat brush and try it. I'm going to trust not getting color. There I go. Oh, that's better. Now for the other eye. If you guys can hear anything in the background, it is my dishwasher, or my dryer, my dryer, sorry. The fan and the dogs chewing on bones below my feet. Now look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful, you hear? Okay, now we're going to do one more thing with our eyes. We're going to first, we're going to use setting spray. I'm using the Wet n Wild Finish Matte Photo Focus Setting Spray. Okay, we'll let that dry for a minute. Excuse me while I get a drink of some water. Because I've been out in the sun, I need all the water help I can get. I want to do my roller ball. I want to do my NYX Roll On Shimmer Pink. It's like a pink sparkly. I think it'll go good with this look. We're going to do it just all over the lid. You just roll it on. I go up a little bit higher. It is sparkly, guys, but I love it. Okay, now, you guys can see I got some over here. Swipe that away. I'm going to take the fluffy brush back in this matte color we used in the beginning. 
and just kind of mellow it out a little bit. Okay, and then I do not have a smaller brush with me, so I'm going to try the finer brush again. And I'm going to go back into that second shade we just used, the one I said I've never used before, this night here. And I'm going to go underneath my eyes. That's not working quite like I want it to. Maybe I'll just use my finger a little bit. No. We don't mess that all the way up. No. Uh, no. Bad idea, guys. I think, I mean, yeah, I didn't think that I'm in turn out bad. This side there, I need to do it to match, huh? But I'm only tapping it twice in there just so I don't get so much. Because I think that was my downfall the first time. And then we're going to take the fluffier brush. We're going to wipe off any product that may be on it. We're just gonna dust it around the eyes. Okay, now we're gonna use Volumous Slash Paradise from L'Oreal, and we're gonna do mascara on top and bottom lashes. No. No, first, this is where I always mess up, guys. We're going to spray our eyes again with this mat before we do mascara so it don't drip everywhere. Hmm. And I use way too much kidding, guys. Mother. Do any of you guys have this problem? Look at my face now. I look like a wet, greasy fucking monkey. I'm just going to pat my face with my shirt. And I am... Just patting. Whew. Now I'm going to go in with the mascara, guys. How is everyone? Are you guys staying safe? Have you guys been swimming? I got my own pool out back. It's like a horse tank. And I've been swimming in it. But the only downfall to it is, is like, I don't have a pump for it. Like, I haven't spent the money to go get a pump for it yet, guys. And I keep on having to, like, drain it every other week. This is one of them weeks I gotta drain it. So I'm gonna work on draining it, clean it out, and refill it up tomorrow on my day off. Anyone been out to the lakes? Are the lakes open? Where you're at? Let me know. By the way, guys... Please don't forget to like this video if you like seeing makeup, if you guys like watching me, like your positive interaction and liking and commenting and everything like that means the world to me. Okay, I got some on my eye up here. We're not going to sweat it. I'm just going to work. I'm not really trying to impress too many people. I just want to look nice. We're going to call it good. And by the way, that was the Moni Pure Passion palette that I used. We got one more thing to do before we're done. Actually, two. I want to try. We're going to do our highlighter now. We're going to use Madison Miller Ofra Highlighter in Mindy. You guys know this is my all time favorite highlighter ever. And I should not use it with this greasy mess I got going on, especially since it's so much setting spray, but you know. You can never be too shiny. And I love it. Okay, I have a Rimmel Landing Landon number 57 Ravish eyeliner. It or lip liner. It's for lips. It looks like this. It's been melted. Okay, maybe it's not working. Never mind. That needs to go in the trash. I do have something else for the lips though. I have Neutrogena Lip Show Intermission. 
lip liner. Looks like this. And we're just going to use it on our lips. And I just feel like it on my teeth. Maybe not. It's not sticky, but it does kind of make my lips feel dry, which I don't like. But I have mmm. Oh, I just smashed that, guys. Trying to put it back on the lid. It's not coming up. Oh, uh, because I'm not doing it right, guys. Here's your signs here. I'm going to use a sock that is clean, by the way. I'm going to wipe off my hand because I don't have no makeup wipes with me. Of course. And I'm going to take... Vaseline Lip Therapy. Noisy lips. I'm just gonna put it over this. Not very good at lipstick, guys. I don't like wearing it. All right, guys. Here's our finished look. Probably way too much blush, way too much everything, overkill. But you know what? We gonna roll with it because we're going to work. We're not trying to impress anybody. What do you guys think? You guys ever use any of these products? Do you guys like them? Tell me what you guys think about the ColourPop eyeliners, guys. I want to know. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below, the little red button. It's free, and it helps me out tremendously. And once we get to a thousand, excuse me, a thousand subscribers, we're doing a giveaway, guys. And it's going to be a little bit bigger than I planned because I've already started collecting stuff. We're going to have one big winner, and you guys are going to love it. So please, subscribe. Share me out. Give this video a like or dislike. I don't care. Whatever you guys prefer. And share with your friends and family. And share on your social media if you don't mind. Alright guys. I'm going to let you go. Talk to you later. Bye.